What's up, suckers? Um, today is going to be a little different. It's going to be an entirely quiet video. Uh, Herbie, my cat, he passed away last night. And I've got a whole video of him just meowing in the background. And now it's very quiet. I've been pulling weeds for a half hour just to start preparing my backyard for more um, succulents to come from upstairs to downstairs and it's, it's weird. I'm just going to be uh, shredding a succulent that's been chilling up my backyard basically doing nothing and eventually I'll add soil to the pot so we'll go from there um, this will either be like a two-part series where this is the first part and then I'll have an actual talking part where I talking about how to take care of the succulents and like adding soil to succulents that have been chilling out without soil and um, right now I have it just here out in the sun so that way you can see what I'm doing but it's a it's a big succulent it's been I got it from a friend of mine that uh, that got it from a, another woman who uh, it broke out of her um, half wine barrel so that that goes to tell you the uh, integrity and strength of this succulent to break out of wood so that's what we'll be doing today and then yeah, I think I'll just do a part two of, like, what I do to care for it afterwards, rather than just letting it continue to sit. And uh, it's been there for two months, just because it's been raining, um, and so I didn't want to do anything yet, because it was so big, so I figured if I let the roots just kind of chill without soil, um, it would it would slow down its growth. So, that's what we'll be doing today. Love you, Herbie.
What's up, suckers? Um, so now I'm going to do the continuation of the hazard plant. Uh, I do have some soil. It's not enough to fill the pot, but I'm also going to be pulling out half the actual succulent that's in the pot because the, even though the pot's big, the plant's too big. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I don't know where my other glove went. I refuse to touch my plants. One second. All right, found it. <laughs> yeah, especially with this one. This one's technically a white spine aloe. Um, one of many variants, and it's huge and kind of dangerous without gloves. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today. And a couple days after we ended up working on this, it rained. So again, couldn't come out and work on it. So now we actually have to start over, essentially. It's really dirty, though. And this guy does not like that much sun, and I've kind of just left it in the sun. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix that real quick. Um, this specific succulent really likes grit in its soil. It's not just a plain soil type of succulent. It really likes having some grit in it that can also absorb and hold some of the moisture without necessarily losing all that it can absorb. So that's what we're going to be doing here. It's all in a bunch of little tiny pieces. There's a lot of, There's a lot of this plant, that's for sure. I'm gonna snag my soil. Alright. Don't forget, first and foremost, to actually use your cactus and palm soil. Works better, holds better water and moisture. And especially where I am, I'm surrounded by beaches, so I enjoy not coming out all that often to water my succulents. And now they're in, that they're in new locations, I don't have to water them every week. It can now be every other week, and some of them a month. try some of this. I found this at a store. It was suggested to me. And I looked over all the ingredients and thought, well, why not? Why not try this with this specific plant? It's basically got all the stuff that I need. Oh, I might need scissors. since you've been outside for a while, but... And the blades have sharpened. Okay, that works for me. They're pruning shears that I'm using, but they work. Alrighty, beautiful, look at that. Look at that, look at all that good stuff. So it's got a lot of grit. This guy specifically is 
potting mix is made with bog bits, byproduct of the regenerative peat harvesting process, which I have peat moss upstairs. And I love that stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. And now, we're going to churn it. Like I said, it's not a huge fan of all that much sun, so I'm going to have to move it. So I'm trying to be smart. Um, but since I did put it in the pot previously, now I've got this super cute little sprig coming off. And I'm hoping it'll blossom. So I want to keep him out where he originally was without covering him up, but still giving him access to the outside. One more. You guys are super long. Maybe not this one. That one's super long too. And this one's just really big. So I think this will be what we work with. And then I've got one more bag of soil to put on top of this. That way I can get enough nutrients to these plants and then they should take off like crazy they'll they'll explode they'll grow just like they were when I first got the plant so yay I just have to figure out where to put the rest of it because there's so much I don't have a pot big enough I'm gonna have to go get one and I got this huge pot for free so I don't know I don't know guys Alrighty. Cool. Cool. There's dirt in my gloves, so, you know, that whole thing of, like, don't forget to wear gloves. Wear gloves before you touch dirt. <laughs> That's smart. Okay. So, before I officially grab my soil and cover it up, we're just flip this guy around and show you what it currently looks like. Got my major major plant here with the side plant here, and then we have some pups off the side. I'm hoping that this will give me a beautiful bloom. It's off to the side, so this isn't a death bloom. And then this is what is left. We've got that sprig and then three sprigs here. And I have to find a pot that's probably going to be just as big as this. He's waiting for the shiny to come back. So yeah, that is what we're doing. And then finally, now that I've gotten most of 90%, 99% of my plants downstairs, we finally can do an actual like yard tour. And everybody in this greenhouse, even though it's exposed to the sun, um, it's arranged in such a way that the ones that don't like a whole lot of sun are right in the middle and the ones that do are pulled forward and the ones that again aren't huge fans but will take sun are pushed to the back and this one's finally growing again i i did a whole video on repotting this and at the time i was thinking great i shocked it i killed it but now i've got a bunch of babies just pushing off and then yeah i've got my jade this guy was also in a video where I said that I was waiting for him to recover, and well, here we are. 
Yeah, so I love this specific succulent as like one of many. Well, obviously, I mean, I, I grow them professionally, but just like I was looking for something like this because the way that the flowers come off, it just they're they're gorgeous. Like you don't you don't really see this kind of fashion on anything else. But then as these flowers die, the rest of the succulent goes dormant, and that's ten that tends to be what most people think. Oh no, it died. I'll just get rid of it, and you just gotta have patience. And then since we're getting into the warmer months, I've got a lot of them that are slowly, even this guy, slowly pushing off their little blooms. Um, this one sometimes does, but I think now that it's recovering, uh, we're not going to get anything this year. I'll keep an eye out though. I'll definitely keep an eye out. Um, yep, I, I just had this guy bloom, but now I'm waiting for the little spring, so we'll do an update on that. These guys just popped off. Um... This is a weed. Don't don't get super excited. I'm still waiting for this succulent to come back though. This was attacked by mites, so that's where we what we're waiting for. Let's let's walk around here a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Anybody else putting off blooms that I can see? This one's finally healing. And these guys are finally taking off. Yep, there's little babies back here. There we go. Yeah, my cactus, my, this one, this one's finally got a sprig that's going all the way up, just waiting, waiting for it. Got Cthulhu and my red spine popped up here. They're not a huge fan of sun, and just had to save them a little bit. My ruby, ruby slippers down here. This one, this one's finally pushing off flowers. It's from the center. I'm almost concerned if that's a death bloom, I'll have to go in and grab some babies, but Got a tiny baby right here that's pushing off. My newest cactus. And then I gotta say, this is the coolest thing I've ever gotten as a gift. Um, my mom made this out of recycled water bottles for my wedding and it was the centerpiece at one of my tables. So this guy's super happy. I love it, but some of these are getting a little big for their pots so we'll have to trade them out for the baby babies. So that way I can get my big adults, but Super happy. Don't forget, this is a fake flower. This one also came with a fake flower. I pulled it off though, I want it to survive. This guy was attacked by mites. Been doing treatment on that. This is a new case that we're gonna be discussing in the next video I make. I'm actually super excited about it because you can see it's already affected a couple other succulents. Though this was, the, the, this specific problem started before I started moving my succulents around so at the time I hadn't caught it so this got sunburned even though it was pushed to the back the way that the water sat in the leaves it got terribly sunburned and that one did too it's like specific succulents will gather water on their leaves but even then when you go to like fix it or pick it up it's it you know kind of droops off and you think you're doing right until you look at the backside and realize that you weren't doing so great after all. Got some babies in there. Had to do a recovery project with this one. So she's got a huge, huge stock. So I'm going to have to find her a really tall pot and then bury her up to the head just like I did with my other princess. So we're basically starting that one all over again as well. Let's see, we've got some flowers starting. He's a little, he's a little dirty too. I had to push him to the back. Um, recovery project. They're not doing too bad, but they're also not doing too great. They're still green, but their their center is this one's definitely gonna push off babies. That's that's what I know. These are the babies. This was sunburned. I actually recovered this from a neighbor's yard, so I say recover, they say stole, but <laughs> and this guy already finished with his bloom. So that's Oh, that we've got. Yeah, a little bit of sunburn, but well, more sun exposure than sunburn. There's no shriveled up pieces, but I just have to keep him covered. This also got attacked by mites, so this was another recovery project. So, so far, we're doing okay. This one, the aeration roots just means that it needs either bigger stock or more nutrients in the soil or more water, so I'm, I'm doing a little bit of both. <laughs> And as you can see, the back side versus the front side, you can see how much sun this guy gets. So some succulents will actually change color according to how much sun they get. So just like this one, 
you can see how much sun it got versus this one with how much less sun it got being covered up. So that's why I'm moving this guy. Just need to fix him up. Oh, yes. And then one of my hanging pots has a whole, whole bunch. And then my mother of millions, again, like I said, I'm doing a recovery project. So now I've already got two sprigs popping up, plus a bunch of babies. Should be able to get those to take off, but they're separated just so that way I can make sure they recover. Cause you can see the parent stock is now officially dead. So I just need to pull that out. But that was the intention. So yeah, that's where we are. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for tuning in. Rest in peace, Herbie. And till next time, peace out, suckers.